Good afternoon guys, Sam from Lumtech here, here to bring you another video. Today we're going to be talking about park setting the alarm. To do this we need to uh, configure our zones to not be enabled on the night set. Um, the night set was just simply arm downstairs or any area of the house we want to be alarmed at night time and allow you to walk upstairs past the detector um, during the night and not trigger the alarm and the alarm downstairs will still be triggered if the, in the event of an intruder. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into uh, engineer mode which can be done by entering your in installer code or engineer code. The first option will be zone setup. If you're already in the engineer mode, just press number one, it will take you back to uh, zone setup. Just press yes. I know my um, zone one is actually fed off the keypad and this is for the um, lounge detector. My zone two is for the landing, so uh, that's why it's on guard. We can see the attributes one, and I'll just double check before I change anything that this is my landing detector, which is DT is for dual tech. Um, so I'll just loop it back around again until we find where it says uh, attribute one. So what we want to do, we want to press no, because we want to change something, and then we can press down arrow until we get to part one emit. Press the no button again, and we'll have a number one there. And then we just want to press yes, and now that zone will be emitted on part set one. What we want to do as well, default, it'll be um, you'll get annoyed when you try to set the alarm. So if we just go into our area programming, press the yes button, go to number five, and it'll be area options. Just press yes, and then we'll go down, and we've got a part arm silent. If you just press number, um, sorry, let me do that again. Uh, on silent, just press the no button. Press A because the zone is in area A, and that will mean when we do a part set. It'll, um, it won't have a timer um, being loud, it will just confirm it with a brut when the alarm is set. This is helpful if you've got kids um, or the client's got kids and um, you don't want the alarm to be beeping for 30 seconds until they're upstairs. Um, and we'll use this on whatever zone we want to do. So if, for example, we've got another zone upstairs we want to do on the part set, we'd go to it and I'll just do it on this zone because we've already done it. Um, press no down twice until we get to part one emit. Um, I'm not setting this one off because I'm not, we don't have a part set enabled. And now I'll just press no to configure that. And when it's a star, it means it's not emitted. So as you can see through my zone one, it's also not emitted. But if I was doing this for my actual landing, I would have the one there because it would be emitted during the night time. Um, any other questions, just drop me a comment below and I'll uh, hopefully get back to you and uh, drop this video a like if you enjoyed it. 